Okay, I wanted to go through the derivation for the voltage divider equation, since we didn't have time to go through this in lecture today. And if you were confused about the clicker question, you might just be wondering where that equation came from. So again, a voltage divider is just two resistors in series, with one end connected to ground. An input voltage, V in, at the top resistor, and we measure our output voltage, V out, in between the two resistors. We call the resistors R1 and R2. And we are assuming we can have current flowing out of VN and down to ground through the resistors, but we do not have any current flowing this way through V out. So current in that direction is zero. So no current. So our knowns or our givens are that input voltage and the resistor values. Our unknown is that output voltage V out. We want to know V out as a function of our knowns. So of Vn, R1, and R2. So in order to figure that out, we're going to use what we know about circuits so far. We have Ohm's law. We know Kirchhoff's voltage law, or that voltages add in series. And we know Kirchhoff's current law, although we're not actually going to need to apply that in this case. So let's apply Ohm's law to the whole thing first. If I combine those two resistors in series, then I know I have one equivalent resistor, REQ equals R1 plus R2. And in that case, if I apply Ohm's law, V equals IR, then I have VN equals I times R1 plus R2. So that equation doesn't have V out in it at all. I've just written down what I know about Ohm's law for the entire circuit. And again, in that case, I it's just flowing from VN to ground. Now, let's apply Ohm's law to the individual resistors. Okay, so I'm going to define VR1 as the voltage drop across R1. So between these two points, that's in in blue, remember voltage is not necessarily in general, it's implied that we mean relative to ground, but this time I'm specifying that I mean I mean the voltage drop between those two points, not relative to ground. That's going to be Vn minus V out. I can also define voltage drop across R2 as the voltage between these two points. So V R2 equals V out minus zero, because ground is at zero volts. Okay, so now I've defined the voltage drops across each one of those resistors. Let's apply Ohm's law to them. Again, I know these resistors are in series, so the current through them has to be the same. They both just have I flowing through them. That's going to be I R1. This one is going to be I R2. And remember that our goal here is to get V out as a function of the things we know. So if you look at these equations, you might see that here I have an equation with V out with one thing I know R2, but I have a annoying unknown I. If I look at this equation that I wrote earlier, here I have one unknown, but I know everything else in that equation, V in R1 and R2 are given. So I can rearrange that equation to solve for I. So I equals Vn over R1 plus R2. Plug that in for I over here, and then I have my equation for V out. Okay, so I have V out equals R2 over R1 
plus R2 times Vn. And there is my final voltage divider equation. And again, if you look at this equation and think of the limits, so as R2 goes to zero, then V out will go to zero. As R1 goes to zero, then V out is going to approach Vn because the fraction because the fraction approaches one. So again, if you were looking at this with the clicker question and you were kind of conf confused about where this ratio came from, it's just applying Ohm's law and chugging through the algebra to get an equation that gives you V out as a function of Vn.